All right, kiddos, back in the car. Here we go. Lick pole. Yeah, here we go. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our life in Holland. We are getting ready to head out on a road trip today to our favorite place on the planet, beautiful Lake Powell. We sent all the kids off to school early this morning. I got everybody packed, picked up cute little Ava from kindergarten. We've got Annabelle here because we're taking her to the dog sitter. We're gonna grab a few things from Costco. We have some go-to food that we like to bring with us to Lake Powell, and a couple of those things are from Costco. So I'm gonna make a quick little stop at Costco. Emphasis on the word quick, because Costco is usually not quick. Are you gonna go have fun with all your friends? Are you gonna miss us, Annabelle? Come on, let's go. All right, we're going into Costco with a list. And it's always fun to see how many things we come out of Costco with that were not on the list. We're gonna try really hard to not get too distracted. All right, you guys, I'm back. We got the car all packed. We're headed out the door, and I just have to report that I did indeed buy a lot more than I went for at Costco. What? Shocker. <laughs> but I found some good stuff for the trip. Kids will be excited about some, you know, it was all good choices. That never happens. You never go to the store and end up coming back with stuff that, it was on sale, honey. I'm like, well, Ferrari's on sale. Can I go buy one? <laughs> yes, please buy a Ferrari. That would be amazing. So guys, we are all packed, as Lindsay says, ready to go to Lake Powell. But can I say that these road trips, they can be, well, they can be a little challenging at times. Especially you got four very active kids, as you guys know our kids. In a six-seater truck. So finding something for our kids to do in this truck can be a little challenging because it's a long road trip. It's about five and a half hours Lake Powell and they all want tablets. They all want to play on something. And so we actually found a really cool game. It's called Word Life. I have always loved doing crossword puzzles. So I love that I can share this love of crossword puzzles with my kids. It's a relaxing game that also sharpens your brain. Lindsay's always been better at those crossword puzzles and things like Scrabble, and it's just like. Very few things I can yeah. beat him at, actually. But what's cool about this game, though, however, is it's multiplayer. So that means I can actually play against her. You can actually play against your friends. We can get all the kids in the car involved in the same game. It's completely free on iOS and Android. Actually, what's really cool, because I speak Italian, it's actually available in Italian. It's available in Italian, English, Russian, Portuguese, Spanish, German, French, and then obviously Italian, which is pretty cool. If you guys are big into crossword puzzle things like that. This is a perfect game, especially for a road trip. It's great for your kids. It's great for your friends. They also have weekly special events, which is pretty cool. So like competitions and things of that nature. Many of you actually may have already downloaded it. If you have not, be sure to download it. All right, we are on the road, Whoop. middle of nowhere, playing some word life over here. My 12 year old sitting next to me talking trash. Little does he know that this is one thing it's going to be very hard to beat me in. I wish you the best of luck, Turin. Mom, you're only on level five. Just give me a few minutes. How's level 14 treating you? Cause I'm on level 15. Yes I am. Everybody saw how much fun Turin and I were having up here, so now everybody in the back is trying out a little word life for themselves. What I love about the game is that it's fun, it's relaxing, but it's also a little bit challenging, and I love a little bit of a challenge. Yeah, it really is a little bit more challenging than you would think. It's super fun. It's definitely great, especially for situations like this, where we have endless amount of hours in the car, and we normally go crazy, so it's filling the time with something a little bit more fun. So you can download the game from the link in the description to get my starter pack, which includes 500 coins, one hint, and one super hint. I have to say I'm being called a nerd a lot over here. Nerd a lot! I think that Turin and Justin are just jealous that I'm better at this game than they are. All right, guys, we have made it to our very first stop here in Fillmore. Really, the only place to eat in Fillmore is Costa Vida, and I have had Mexican food. Lindsay and I have had Mexican food probably five times in the last five days, but hey, this is our only option, so we're gonna stop, get some dinner, and uh, be back on our way. All right, kiddos, back in the car. Here we go. Lick pole. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs>
we're halfway on our road trip here and we got to the most beautiful windy little turn with the sun setting and the most beautiful background that we had to pull over, get the drone out, take some pictures and just soak in the moment. It was so beautiful outside. So we're back on the road. We have just a few more hours and then we have arrived. Road trips with kids. All right, guys, we are here. We made it to our hotel here in Lake Powell. So it's customary as we get to our hotel that the kids have to do a little monkey on the bed bun jumping. So this time we decided to get a room which is a little bit bigger than what we normally get. We've got- We actually did not know that rooms like this existed. That's true. Or had, we would have gotten this last time. We would have. This time we got two queen beds and then we got ourselves a little pull out here. So this is a little sweet, that way we won't have to bring along our air mattress which is sometimes slightly inconvenient. So we got ourselves a big enough room for the whole family this time. And we always bring all of our food ahead of time so that we don't have to shop once we get here and we can spend all of our time on the lake. So we've got all of our food over here. On this side of the closet, we've got a whole case of Gatorades and waters and we've got our chips in here. From Lululemon. We've got a whole tote full of snacks in there, some treats in there. And then here in the fridge, this is one of the biggest mini fridges that I've seen in a hotel room, which is super helpful. So we've got protein shakes for the mornings. I actually got some pumpkin spice donuts and some muffins, which the kids will be excited about. We didn't have those last time. And then we always bring these for snacks. On the boat. These little snack packs. Where's my snack pack? You've got a banana. You don't need no snack pack. You know I like snack pack. Why can't you just give me a snack pack? We've got veggies and dip. We've got leftover pasta salad from Park City. Wow, that is thrifty, honey. We've got all sorts of sandwich stuff. And my mom and dad are bringing some additional things. They're bringing some fruit, stuff for the sandwiches. All right, guys. Well, we are going to put these kiddos to bed because we have a full day tomorrow on the lake. Before Papa and Grandma arrive, it'll just be our little family hanging out, doing some surfing. Right, Ava? Yeah. Some tubing. We did bring the hydro foil, so that should be kind of fun. Turn actually said he wanted to try it. It's gonna be a little chillier just tomorrow, so we've got sweatshirts and pants in case we need to do a little more exploring and a little less swimming. But the water is guaranteed to be warm. It's just whether or not the air feels warm when we get out of the water. All right, guys, hey, listen. Thank you for joining us today's video. If you have not already downloaded the Word Life app, do so, click on the link in our description to download that app today. Again, it is free. If you are new to our channel, welcome guys to Our Life in Holland. Be sure to subscribe down below, turn on those notification bells. Oh, should they thumbs up the video, you think? Yes. Yeah. yes. Thumbs up yes, the video too. And we will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys.